This is an all too common scene in North America where trauma is the leading cause of death for people between 1 and 44 years old. A significant number of these deaths is related to severe blood loss. The advanced trauma life support guidelines recommend isotonic fluids such as normal saline or ringer's lactate to partially replace the lost blood. However, resuscitation fluids that are eight times saltier than normal saline are being investigated by Dr. Raul Coimbra, Chief of the Division of Trauma Surgical Critical Care and Burns at the UC San Diego Medical Center. At UC San Diego and in, San, in the San Diego trauma system, we are exploring an alternative to conventional fluid resuscitation, which uh, involves the use of hypertonic saline. Uh, this is a uh, multi-center study sponsored by the National Institute of Health. The importance of uh, testing hypertonic saline as a fluid resuscitation strategy is because hypertonic saline rapidly restores hemodynamic parameters. And the way it works is it draws water from the tissues into the blood vessels, restoring blood pressure. Uh, UC San Diego has been a leader in research in hypertonic saline and in our own laboratory we were the first one to demonstrate the hypertonic saline in addition to restoring blood pressure also affects positively the immune system. The same hypertonic fluids are being investigated in rodents by a team led by bioengineering professor Marcos Intagliata. This team has added a second fluid resuscitation ingredient, viscosity enhancers that thicken blood the team saw a surprisingly positive effect of the combined treatment when they examined flow through tiny blood vessels. We uh, recently uh, published a paper in uh, resuscitation where uh, we investigated uh, new techniques uh, for uh, recovering the microcirculation. The whole objective of the resuscitation fluid is to restore blood volume but also ensuring that these capillaries function once the blood volume is restored. High viscosity fluids appear to do a much better job and uh, have much more uh, effective in producing this recovery. These are uh, blood vessels uh, through which uh, red blood cells pass a single file and they are invisible to the eye but they are fundamental for maintaining the tissue alive. Now the animal has lost 50% uh, of his blood so look at what happens. Essentially the capillaries become empty of red blood cells and there is no more flow through the, in the tissue. If this situation were to be present in a patient uh, with the capillaries uh, not flowing, this individual would be in a uh, severe uh, clinical condition. After this uh, severe uh, blood loss, the animal goes into what we call hypovolemic shock. And this is the condition that from which we are trying to rescue the animal by using hypertonic hyperviscous fluid which, and as you can see, there is a sudden increase in the number of capillaries through which there is blood flow, and uh, the capillaries themselves become filled uh, with red blood cells, which bring back oxygen to the tissue and uh, the necessary nutrients. This type of uh, resuscitation is very different from the clinical uh, guidelines that are normally used because the fluid that we are using has a very high viscosity compared to saline and all of the other so-called plasma expanders that are used for this uh, uh, kind of uh, therapy. Studies such as Dr. Intagliera's are important because uh, it uses not only hypertonic saline but other adjuncts that may increase the effects of hypertonic saline in, in treating those patients and in advancing our knowledge about shock resuscitation.